Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 uh, running the Android 8.0 Oreo versus the Razer phone. Now, I never really did any test on the Razer phone performance-wise. I mean, I've done the battery drain test. Uh, we all saw that Razer phone was not that impressive. Uh, but let's see how it can go in the performance because it does have the latest Snapdragon 835 processor along with the 120 Hz display. So we'll see how that will go against the best of Samsung which is the Galaxy Note 8. Okay, so it's time to boot up both phones at the same time. So we do have the power button right here. As always, we're gonna start off with a boot up test. So uh, let's go in three, two, one, boom. And okay, the Razer logo uh, comes up first compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But we all know that Note 8 picks up the pace later. So, okay, Samsung logo. and Razer logo as well. And you can see the Galaxy Note 8 wins the race. Razer phone is right behind. So everything is closed up in the background and we also have the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can see on camera that the Note 8 definitely has a lot brighter display going on compared to the Razer phone. I mean, this feels a little bit dull uh in comparison but again this is 120 hertz which is pretty nice as well uh, let's start off with the first phone dialer basic application here we go and as you can see that was super duper quick on the razor phone next up we have settings and again seems like faster on the razor phone moving on to some games so we have the subway surfer game first up here we go and launched Almost at the same time, you can see Galaxy Note 8 so damn fast on Oreo. I mean, game loading times have definitely been improved, but you can see Razer phone was right behind. Again, both are having the same processor, just the difference with the software. So, Snapchat, Galaxy Note 8, and out. And that is about the same on both phones. Got another game, which is called as Smash Hit. And as you can see, Razer phone was really quick to react first. And of course, it is faster uh, than the Note 8 with this application. SoundCloud, Galaxy Note 8, Spotify. And feels like a little bit faster on the Note 8. Checking out Instagram. And as you can see, the Galaxy Note 8 just a little bit faster loading up the latest feed, but both were pretty quick with the application. Both are showing me the notification count as well. Let's check out my profile. And that got loaded up about the same on both phones. So you can see same speed there. Next up will be Twitter. And faster on the Razer phone. Because these phones have so much RAM, we're going to launch one more game, and that is going to be the Alto game. So I do have it on both phones here. Boom. Okay, Razer phone reacted to the touch faster. And yes, it is a little bit faster in terms of loading up of this game. So lastly, we're launching the cameras at the same time. Let's go. And the Galaxy Note 8 faster. A time for some browsing action. So we have the WB.com first website. And I'm actually using the Google Chrome on the Razer phone against uh, the internet browser on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So you can see both phones are at the end. It's a big website. Who is going to be the ultimate winner? Uh, seems like the Razer. Yes, the Razer is done. And the Galaxy Note 8 is taking some time. It is still at the end. But the yeah, now it's finished. So you can see both phones uh, were pretty fast. I mean, it's a big website. Lots of stuff going on. But look at that speed. Both phones are super duper smooth. But obviously, the Razer phone feels a bit more buttery because of that 120 hertz. That where you really feel uh, the awesomeness with this display so it looks so damn smooth like there's no lag whatsoever next up we have wikipedia.org and here you can see both were about the same uh, really fast performance again same processor so that is something that is expected 
Now let's check out the RAM management. So I haven't checked out the RAM stuff on the Razer phone ever. So this is going to be a, a first look at that as well. So first up we have phone dialer and uh, seems like it was, it might be a refresh, showed a little bit of a whitish thing, but let's see if the other apps are open because sometimes system based apps they do act weird. You can see settings still there. Moving on to the third party application, Subway Surfer, that is still there on both phones. Snapchat, Pinout, Smash Hit, and that is also there. SoundCloud, Spotify, back to the Instagram, back to the Twitter, Alto Game, and yes, still there. So perfect multitasking on both phones, and we are back to the internet browser. So I've opened so many applications, and like I said, these phones are amazing. They are monster with the performance. So yeah, guys, that was the speed test comparison between the Razer phone against the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Galaxy Note 8 was faster in booting up, as well as with a couple of games, so was the Razer phone. So both are pretty damn fast phones, and I really like how Samsung is, you know, making their UI more optimized. I mean, the Razer phone runs a Nova launcher. Yes, this is actually Nova launcher and you can make it more faster by, you know, playing with the animations. But Samsung, you can see that with Oreo, they definitely improved a lot of stuff and that's why it's competing uh, nicely with the stock, stockish phone, you know. So thank you so much for watching this test and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.